Protesters gathered outside the governor's residence this afternoon to speak about a bill that would ban transgender girls from playing girls' sports. This specifically applies to those who were assigned male at birth. The bill is sitting on the governor's desk waiting for a signature or veto. Supporters say it levels the playing field for those assigned female at birth. Protesters and opponents say the bill discriminates against transgender girls looking to fit in. They profit off of our participation in sports, right? But but we don't get a say in, in how the sports go, right? We don't get a say in who gets to participate. It's meant to erase trans people entirely. They want to have their cake and eat it too, and we want them to, to choose one or the other. So again, the governor has until tomorrow to sign that bill. There are many controversial bills on the governor's desk right now yeah, right. that need either his signature or his veto or neither. He could just leave them on his desk to let the legislature take more action. Yeah, that's right. CBS 4 State House reporter Kristen Escow is live in our newsroom now to explain what else is waiting on the governor's signature. Kristen. Well, Debbie and Bob, those two bills we've been following very closely are the permitless carry bill and the bill to ban transgender girls from playing girls' school sports. Now, you just heard about that. If those bills don't get signed or vetoed by tomorrow night, they'll automatically become law. Some Hoosiers making a last-minute attempt to convince Governor Eric Holcomb to veto a bill that would allow most Hoosiers age 18 and older to carry handguns without a permit. If he says that he's going to back the blue, then he has to back the blue all of the time. Opponents point out many law enforcement officials are against the measure. I worry for our law enforcement officers. I worry about the 6,000 people who were denied a permit in 2021. Governor Holcomb won't say what he plans to do with the bill. Supporters argue law-abiding Hoosiers shouldn't need a permit to carry a gun. It doesn't endanger citizens. It doesn't endanger law enforcement. And that's been the very clear experience of the 21 other states. Another controversial bill on Holcomb's desk bans transgender girls from playing girls' school sports. Advocates say it's about making sure girls can compete on a level playing field. A biological male today can participate in men's sports. The same will be true after this bill is in law. Many groups oppose the measure, arguing it unfairly targets transgender kids. I'd like to see the governor veto this bill because it's just flat out unconstitutional. It's dangerous for children. Um, it sets a dangerous precedent. Last month, Governor Eric Holcomb indicated he would support this kind of proposal, but he said he would read the bill first before making a decision. I agree adamantly that boys should be playing boy sports and girls should be playing girl sports and mixed sports should be just that. Now, there are four bills total the governor has not signed or vetoed yet. One of them includes a bill that would require the legislature's approval for the Hoosier Lottery to offer online games. Live in the newsroom, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you.